Namaskar Bandara. Hello friends and welcome back or welcome to my channel Elena today. In this video, I'm going to be kind of just doing a sit down talk with you guys about my learning Bengali process. So a lot of people have been curious to know if I can speak Bengali or if I can speak Hindi. Um, and unfortunately, I cannot speak either. So my language learning story has been uh, filled with a lot of ups and downs. So I really thought you know, I waited, even though I've been with my partner, my husband for a really long time, I always kept thinking that when I was done with school, then I'll have more time to study a language. Um, and then when I moved here two and a half years ago, I thought, okay, now I'm in the country, I can really learn the language. And then COVID hit and, um, you know, unfortunately I was very intimidated. I was stuck inside and I just never really took the initiative to start learning. And then when I finally did, I thought, you know what, let me study Hindi because there are a lot of programs out there or study material out there um, more so than Bengali. And I thought, hey, if I can speak Hindi, then I'm sure learning Bengali would be a lot easier. And I did, I started that for a couple of months. I bought some programs and was studying, but it was really hard for me to keep up with it because my husband didn't speak Hindi regularly. He spoke mainly Bengali. My family here speaks Bengali. And so it was really difficult for me to keep up with it. And then I just decided, you know, I really want to learn my husband's native language because in the future when we have kids, I would really love to teach them Bengali and know Bengali as well. And I also heard that if you know Bengali, then you should learn Hindi really easily. So, you know, I just decided, again, changed my mind that I really wanted to study Bengali. So what I did was I found some programs online initially and I got a couple of books on Amazon. So I got this Learn Bengali in 30 Days. I got this Introduction to Bengali Part 1, a basic course in spoken Bengali with emphasis upon speaking and understanding the language. And then I also got this complete Bengali um, reading and writing packet, so Teach Yourself, which I heard is a really good program. Now, years and years ago, when I had initially tried to find programs or material to study Bengali, I didn't find this. I'm only finding a lot of this now in in, in India. So I actually met someone a few months ago. They reached out to me on Instagram and she said I couldn't mention her name. Her name's Katie. And we just started a conversation. And I found out that she also has a partner who is Bengali and she was also interested in learning the language as well. And we're both at the very starting point. And so we thought it would be a really great idea to actually start getting together and learning Bengali. Now, unfortunately, with her, when she tried finding these materials online, because she's in the US, they don't have the same material. They have different material, which is really good material. So it was really hard for us to find the same type of material to study. But then we were really fortunate um, that her partner was willing to teach both of us together from the very start. And that's the biggest thing I think when learning a language too is for me, it's just so intimidating to do it on my own and I would start, but then I would fail and I would start and then I would fail and I would just stop, unfortunately. Now having this Bengali class, I think is really going to help me stay motivated, keep me on track because I work really well with schedules. And since being here in India, I don't really have uh, a schedule. I kind of work on my own time. And for me, that's actually very hard. I, I really like strict schedules. So knowing that I have a couple of people relying on me to do well and to study so that we're on the same page has really pushed me and motivated me to do good. Um, so when I got these materials and I tried reading them, very difficult to follow along. Um, some of these say that you have to have a CD to follow along and they don't all provide that. And so I was really happy to start this class. Now I originally wanted to learn Bengali first listening and speaking, so spoken Bengali. Um, my husband 
unfortunately, I'm sure he would not be happy with me saying this, but unfortunately he doesn't know how to read and write Bengali. Very basic if he does. Um, so he would not be a very good teacher <laughs> to teach me to read and write. Um, but then also I was thinking, you know, most people learn a language by speaking it first. And my goal was to be able to communicate with people. And that's why I had learned those phrases in my other videos and started speaking it. But unfortunately, I wasn't pronouncing things properly. I wasn't doing a very good job. And I was just memorizing the sentences. And so my new Bengali teacher, he suggested that it's really important to know how to read and write Bengali first. Then you can know how to say words properly so that we can speak, when we start speaking it, we can sound more natural and then have a good understanding of it as well. And he also believes that if we are, you know, since I'm living here as well, if I find myself in a situation where I'm by myself, I can also read the signs around me if I'm not, you know, if it's not in English. So I can, I, I definitely agree with that. I think I see uh, the merit in that, of course, but it definitely wasn't the direction I was intending. So when I had started studying Bengali on my own, I, instead of these books, I found a different program where I was just memorizing. And I actually created a ton of different note cards and phrases that come and phrases to study from. But again, my teacher thought that, you know, I'm just memorizing, so I'm not going to remember it long term in the future. But if we study the basis of the language, where it comes from, how to say it, then we'll be able to remember um, the language a lot easier in the future. So I know nothing about languages. Unfortunately, this is my first language I'm ever studying on my own. And so I really, really want to do well. Um, so now I, we've only started recently. Um, so our, my first Bengali class was November 19th. So twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays from 9 a.m. to noon or 1 p.m. we study Bengali. And basically, it, like I said, it's not been too long now, but we just finished learning all of our vowels and consonants. And so that's one big reason why I'm making this video because I'm doing it really for myself as well. I think if I make a video, then it's gonna keep me accountable as well. I want to record my progress as I learn and as I study. And I kind of want to take you guys along with me to help me stay accountable um, because I really do, I really do want to learn this language and I really want to be able to speak it. Um, and it is definitely a, a goal of mine in my life to be able to speak another language. So I, that's just kind of what this video is about, is telling you my process of how I got to learning Bengali and then what I'm doing and where my stages are along the way in the future. Um, so like I said, told you about my classes and when I do them, and then I know all the vowels and consonants now. So what I do to study the vowels and consonants, I make note cards of each vowel and consonant. So I draw it, and then on the back, you know, to see. My biggest thing is when looking at the picture, because it's very different than English. Uh, it's not English letters, obviously. So my point is, can I, you know, when I look at it, can I say it quickly? Because that's what I'm getting at now. I've memorized all of the vowels and consonants, but then being able to do it quickly when I look and read it, that's what's important to me. So I write all my, all my note cards down. I have drawings of all the vowels and consonants. And then on the back, I say which consonant is, what part of the mouth you use, um, and then how to pronounce it, you know, what the letters are, and then how to actually say it, because it is very different. That's one thing I learn. Um, every class, what we like to do is I have my study material. So I have a book specifically for my class that I put all my notes in. And so we practice, we practice writing on it uh, when we were learning the vowels to make sure we were doing it properly. And then also if there's any other regular notes to keep in mind, like where to, where to put your tongue and your mouth. 
So that's been helpful. That's one big thing with having this teacher too is he helps us draw it in a way that we can remember it too. It's easier for us to, to draw out the vowels and consonants. If I were just to look at the book like this, this is difficult. I can't really, I don't know how they're saying, because I here, I would say that this is a A and an O. That's how I would pronounce it in, in English, right? But it's actually, uh, this is actually all and ah. So I would have never known that. So having the teacher actually help us pronounce these as well helps because I was doing it completely wrong when studying it through this book alone. Okay, so if you can have someone, these books are great guidance, but if you can have someone help you go through it, a natural speaker, that will definitely be more beneficial when learning a language, I think. But yeah, so we just kind of write these, uh, write them out, make sure, you know, he'll, he'll tell us which one we drew right, and then I'll circle it, and that's what I will practice writing over and over and over again. So this is my class notes. And then I have a separate notebook to help me when I'm just regularly studying. So what I started to do was I actually went through and I wrote every single vowel down. Like I took each page and I would, you know, dedicate one letter to each page or one vowel or consonant to each page. So I write it out big, how to pronounce it, and then I'll just practice writing it so then I would do it well. And I did that for all of the, the vowels and then here are the consonants. So, and there are like a lot. I think there are, there are 11 vowels and there are 40, I believe, yeah, 40 consonants. So that's quite a, quite a lot of words, but that's what I've been doing to help practice writing it. And every time I write it, I try to pronounce it. The Bengali language just uses so many parts of the mouth that I'm just not used to. And so that's why I also try practicing pronouncing everything as well, because I know in some of my other videos when I would speak Bengali, I wasn't pronouncing it right, but I couldn't understand why. So now that I know the parts of the mouth that we use and kind of how to say these consonants and vowels, it's been helping me. I definitely know there's a lot more to go. I definitely know we need to learn how to change the vowel whenever we put it in the middle of a, of a word. Um, also combining words together or vowels and consonants together. Um, so there's a lot to learn. Uh, like I said, I've only recently started, but I think I've gotten a lot learned in such a short amount of time and I only know it's going to get better from here on out and I'm super excited for the journey ahead because it is my goal that by the end of next year I can speak the language. I wanted it to be the end of this year but honestly figuring out Hindi or Bengali and then trying to do it on my own and it was like I said it was all up and down and so now that I finally have people counting on me I have a study buddy I have a teacher um, who is a Bengali person they they can speak the language so they can actually help me help tell me if I'm doing things right or wrong um, I definitely see me succeeding in this so I'm super excited about that hopefully in a month or two we'll have an update and it'll be even better so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button because it really helps to support my channel and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye